I have lost sleep. I have lost work. I'm living in a nightmare. 29-year-old Natalie Volkferranti says that nightmare started Sunday morning when she realized her husband didn't come home. I started making phone calls to the hospital. I started talk, checking jails just in case, you know, something happened that just, you know, out of the ordinary. That's when she learned he was last seen with a co-worker. I got the phone number, called him. Um, he told me, you know, that they had not gotten along. He, he ended up leaving. Natalie says the co-worker told her they met up at Grisada Park near downtown Modesto. My sister and I and my daughter, we went to Grisada and that is when I found our vehicle. My car was unlocked, but my husband was nowhere to be found. The family, desperate for answers, began knocking on doors in the neighborhood. One of those neighbors telling them to call police. An officer later met her at the park. She said, what I'm going to tell you is not good. But your husband is in ICU and he's been assaulted. The words still painful to comprehend. Questions of when, where and how flooding Natalie's mind. At that time, I just knew I needed to get my baby home safe and I needed to go see my husband. Her husband now in a medically induced coma, suffering from a fractured skull and multiple brain bleeds. I want answers. I want justice. I want people to do the right thing. Even if it's just a little bit, it might be the piece to the puzzle. Because even if you think it's that small, it might just be that small of information that they needed. In Modesto, Danica Hill, KCRA 3 News. If you have any information, you're asked to call Modesto Police.